Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and welcome to a Jurassic World Dominion minis review. We're just gonna go over the uh, figures in more detail. In my previous video, I just unboxed them, but uh, we will be comparing them to some of the older figures and seeing their sizes and stuff. So we'll like literally just jump right in. Here's the Triceratops. It's really small in comparison to the original, um, but with these packs, they want to fit like two in so they have to reduce the size basically you get like the equivalent of one dinosaur just split into two smaller ones but right like the detail is really good on the smaller ones um especially the paint the paint's a lot better um it's applied more solid um like the stripes and stuff you can see on the baryonyx too compared to the original like that is crisp here Gotta get it focused in. So you can see the paint's very nice on the Baryonyx. You can see on here it's like kind of cheaper. So they stepped up their game, and these are like a s nice stark difference compared to, let's just say, uh, uh, the Jurassic World captives. Um, they didn't want to be exactly identical, so they went with a totally different vibe. And I'm actually digging uh, this this style of figure. It's simple, yet they made it look really nice with the solid paint, so I'm really loving that. Um, the Guanadon, there's nothing really to compare it to, but it is a beautiful new figure. You can see it's got a uh, pretty accurate stance. Um, I'm excited for its mainline figure to come out. It's got a nice neutral uh, Hadrosaur-esque stance. Um, a little head. Kind of reminds me of like Tontosaurus, whatever it's called. Tontosaurus, the one where uh, it lives at the same time as Deinonychus. Gives me that vibe, but no. Clearly a Guanodon. It comes in the Baryonyx pack too, which is cute because they live in the same place. Um, and what we'll quickly see yeah, next to Stego. It's a little bit smaller. And these figures, of course, are more rubbery. I'm sure all of you know by now. Uh, here's Gallimimus next to a mainline Stego. It's just a scaled down version of the uh, m like normal Gallimimus in the toy line. You can see the legs outstretched like that, the neck's kind of up. But holy cow, this paint job's phenomenal. Like, it's it may be simple, but it's really nice. They even painted the eye, the underbelly, I'm loving that. There's a little hole on the bottom of all their feet, so they can uh, slide into these playset pegs really easily. Um, blue's tiny as heck. Here's the uh, the normal blue in comparison. So you got like a little baby. <laughs> but I like that they scaled them down to uh, kind of fit the, the size with these guys. It's so cute. Um, so blue's even got painted underbelly in the line of course in the eyes. So that's really nice. Uh, Lystrosaurus is a quite a surprise. Um, this is probably accurate scale to say, like, the actual human figures. Look at that, so small. You can have them hold hold the Lystrosaurus. Yeah, I love the details on the face. Um, I don't know if this is going to get, like, a larger figure made ever, or if they're just going to reuse this one. Um, but in the uh, leaked images, or whatever, uh, it was pretty small regardless. So they might just use that. Of course, the Rex... We don't get a new mold, sadly. Just a recolor, a flimsier recolor. You can see it's harder to move that neck. See him trying. No, no give. <laughs> right? Yikes. And the legs are, like, insanely bendy. But it stands nonetheless, so that's good. It's got some jaw articulation. It's painted the same as the uh, new Rex figure, of course. But the Giga is really nice. Um, it's way larger in bulk than the Rex. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the Mosasaurus. I don't know if I have that on hand. I don't think so. It's kind of like bulky like the uh, the Mosa from the previous lineup. But the eyes painted all the way down to the tails painted. Got the movable jaw. Really nice figure. Um, the Therizine has moving arms. I didn't notice this when I unboxed it, but oh my goodness, look, you can make them go down like that, fold them back, push them out in attack pose. That's really cool. 
also got the peg on the bottom. You can have them fight moving mouth, moving arms, because the rest of the dinosaurs don't have that in this lineup besides like the Stego, the uh, Yang Chalonosaurus, and the Quetzal. So Quetzal's like around the same size as a mainline Pteranodon, or previous line Pteranodon, um, but you can see the underside of the wings are painted, which we didn't get in the older lineups. Um, the wings fold. Everything's flimsy still, of course, but there's way more paint. There's paint on the crest, the face, wings. It, there's four different types of paints, not including the black eye on here. Yellow, blue, brown, beige. That's a lot for these minis. I'm enjoying the, uh, the sheer amount of color detail they're putting on them. It makes them look a lot nicer than uh, the previous lineups. So we've got Ghost. Um, hopefully we get... Yeah, I've, I've seen the uh, uh, images of the playsets coming out, and we get more of these Atrociraptors? Atrociraptors, there we go. Getting more of them, so I'm excited to get a little mini pack. But for now, look at that. Very nice paint detail. The eyes red. It's, it's a really good figure. Like, I love this style. Um, again, the solid paint is a really nice uh, contrast to the originals that were just like sprayed on. Didn't look as nice and crisp. Um, this guy is based on the uh, Dino Rivals Pteranodon, I'm pretty sure, and you can see it's much smaller than the originals. No action features with this one. The Yang Chuanosaurus is really cool. You can see the mouth closes all the way. Oh, he's got to refocus. And it opens too. And there's a cavity in there because it look the jaw like kind of sticks out like that. But then it just goes right in. That's so nice. Um, and the paint job's phenomenal. Like paint on the crest, the eye, the bottom jaw stands out really nicely. The back coloration. This is a great figure. I can't wait to get the larger version. And then the Stegosaurus, beautiful plate coloration. Really sad they didn't finish the tail. It looks very off without that tail paint. It's kind of odd that they painted like the wings on say the Quetzal but not the tail and the Stego. But nonetheless, this is a really neat color. Um, it's a cool pose too. This is taken, I'm pretty sure, from the, uh, um, the first Dino Damage uh, non-posable figures. I don't know if I have any on hand, I don't think so, but it looks like that one because it's kind of facing down instead of the neutral pose, but I'd love to see an orange Stegosaurus in the actual Mattel's uh, big lineup. Um, that would look really neat, we haven't seen a color like that yet, and I'm really digging the pattern on these. Um, the Stegosaurus looks really nice, wow, even the underbelly's painted. Okay, so there we have it. We got, how many, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Wow. And they're only like seven dollars each here in Canada, which is a great deal. Um, <laughs> way better than just getting one for that price. So yeah, no, this lineup's amazing and I can't wait to collect them all. They're so cute, love the colors, love the diversity. Um, hopefully in the future we see way more of them. Um, it'd be sick to see, like, one of every figure. Now, I highly doubt that, but, um, in Mattel's main lineup, the, the poseable big ones, right? It'd be really neat to see the, them all made as minis like this. But for now, this is a great assortment. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited to do a little photography. I kind of want to get multiple packs of them. Um, like, say... Oh, Galley comes with Quetzal. I guess I can wait till the, the sets come out. Um, I wouldn't mind getting another Iguanodon and Lystrosaurus. They're pretty cool. So yeah, no. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, <laughs> definitely check out the rest of them. I've been spamming Dominion content for a while now. So hope you guys uh, get entertained by that. And I'll see you all in the next video then. Bye-bye.